and welcome to my channel my name is rachel and today's video is all about how to make tofu tofu is a product of soybean same as soy sauce and the means if you cook uh, soya in whichever form and most of the people don't like this and many other soy products i don't know why because this stuff is a very healthier option for your protein part of your meal so i will show you how to make it very easy and yummy so this is the first uh, thing you can get tofu in nairobi in so many places but for cheaper option you can get it in zucchini this is from garden city zucchini the zucchini stall that is in garden city that is <laughs> and it is only 150 shillings so when you're buying it it has some liquid which is water actually so it is usually preserved soaked in water so that is how it is it is bouncy if you hold it it's firm in a way so when you're buying it what will happen is don't carry it like this just request the attendants to remove the water for you let them empty the pack for you and carry it upon reaching home if you're not cooking it the same way replace the water and store your tofu so now that is our tofu without maji and what you should do is place it like a place where water can flow uh, like like on the cutting board you see the water so if you put anything with some weight on top of the tofu it will get off the excess excess water so after that is done uh, now you cut your tofu and you marinate it I'll show you my very simple process I have my ginger garlic means that is ginger and garlic um the tofu will absorb a lot of this stuff and it will taste so good so mix everything together so this is the mixture you will use a container where you can put a film paper or a lid to let it sit this is best done at night or you can give it like a few hours before you cook but either way it will be very very yummy so put in your tofu Drop the tofu pieces and then you mix just use your hand if you don't mind it's tofu with the spices that's how it looks like and it is smelling so good now I'm going to put my film paper let it sit for a few hours welcome back it is some hours later and this is my tofu okay so this is what you're going to do you have two ways to make this at least you're not limited like i always say let nothing stop you let nothing slow you down do whatever that you feel like should be done in whichever way you can make it happen so you can uh, put it in the oven for how long how long i'll put that and you don't need to warm the oven or something if you don't have an oven you don't need to worry because you can still cook this on the pan i have done it severally especially when i am not making another thing in the oven and i want to save on the energy 
that's the oil that I am using. There's no problem, just use what you use. And then we put in our tofu. This is our tofu now. I will put it in the oven. I don't know for how long. I'm sorry, but I will put... Friends, our tofu is now very good, very crispy. You have several methods you can prepare this. You can dry fry them, just your onions and your onions and mafuta and you're good. You don't want any other more flavors in that. If you want them more colorful, you can add in some turmeric when you're marinating them. But for the dish I'll be making, I didn't want to do that. So this is what you do two ways, dry fry them. And if you're planning to serve like rice with them and you want a little bit of some sauce, make the sauce candle, you know, like in a separate pot. And then when you fry these, add on top. Don't just let them soak when they are cooking because they will soften. And when they soften, they are not, in my experience, they are not that. So would you like them when they are crunchy? So do your sauce candle. You know, the way, the way you would cook uh, your fish. Your fish is already fried and then you want to add in in the sauce that is what you should be doing to these little guys and you will have a very very good meal so this is what i was making my meal for the day i was adding bok choy or pork choy to the tofu and you see how it is it, it tastes so good so you can add in your seasonal vegetables here it will make a very good side dish for whatever you will be cooking for the day so that is it guys see you in the next video